Hey babe, and anybody else watching, and welcome back to A Life Together. Shifting gears today, and we are looking at numbers one and two. Yesterday, if you remember, we looked at obedience and disobedience, and then we looked at that idea of redeeming what is the Lord's. So um, that coming from the uh, the Israelites coming up out of Egypt and looking at the Passover and all of that and looking at the dedication of the firstborn. So if the firstborn of all the Egyptians' uh, children died, then we looked at what does that mean for the Israelites coming up out of there? Well, that that means that um, they are essentially marked. And it's very important that for the firstborn of the livestock, uh, that those are dedicated to the Lord that they be sacrificed, um, or uh, that they be redeemed. And so the same thing with the sons, but not sacrificed. Obviously, God doesn't want them sacrificed. But that means that there was a redemption value set on those firstborn sons, just for the remembrance of what God did for the Israelites. So today we are going to be looking at um, the, the numbers. And what does that mean? That means that we're going to be looking at the census and tribal camps. Now, these are the descendants up to this point um, from Abraham, God's promise to Abraham in numerical form. So we'll look at that, and then we'll talk about that briefly. So just numbers one and two today. So chapter one, the Lord spoke to Moses in the tent of meeting in the desert of Sinai on the first day of the second month of the second year after the Israelites came out of Egypt. He said, Take a census of the whole Israelite community by their clans and families, listing every man by name one by one. You and Aaron are to number by their divisions all the men in Israel twenty years old or more who are able to serve in the army. One man from each tribe, each the head of his family, is to help you. These are the names of the men who are to assist you. From Reuben, a loser, from a uh, son of Sheridur, from Simeon, Shalumiel, son of Zerishadai. From Judah, Nashon, son of Abinadab. From Issachar, Nethaniel, son of Zoar. From Zebulun, Eliab, son of Halan. From the sons of Joseph. From Ephraim, Elishama, son of Mahud. From Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Pedazer. From Benjamin, Abidan, son of Gideonai. From Dan, Ahizer, son of Amishadai. From Asher, uh, Pegliel, son of Akron. From Gad, Elisaph son of Duel, from Naphtali, Ahira, son of Anan. These were the men appointed from their community. The leaders of their ancestral tribes, they were the heads of the clans of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men, whose names had been given, and they called the whole community together on the first day of the second month. The people indicated their ancestry by their clans and families, and the men twenty years old or more were listed by name, one by one, as the Lord commanded Moses. And so, he counted them in the desert of Sinai. From the descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, all the men twenty years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name one by one according to the records of their clans and families. The number of the tribe of Reuben was 46,500. From the descendants of Simeon, all the men twenty years old or more who were able to serve in the army were counted and listed by name one by one according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Simeon was 59,300. From the descendants of Gad, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Gad was 45,650. From the descendants of Judah, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Judah was 74,600. From the descendants of Issachar, all the men who were 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number of the tribe of Issachar was 54,400. From the descendants of Zebulun, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Zebulun was 57,400. From the sons of Joseph, from the descendants of Ephraim, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Ephraim was 40,500. From the descendants of Manasseh, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name, according to the records of their clans and families. The number, of the tr uh, the number from the tribe of Manasseh was 32,200. 
from the descendants of Benjamin. All the men who were 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Benjamin was 35,400. From the descendants of Dan, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of, Jan of Dan was 62,700. From the descendants of Asher, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Asher was 41,500. From the descendants of Naphtali, all the men 20 years old or more who were able to serve in the army were listed by name according to the records of their clans and families. The number from the tribe of Naphtali was 53,400. All these men were counted by Moses and Aaron and the 12 leaders of Israel, each one representing his family. All the Israelites 20 years, or, 20 years old or more who were able to serve in Israel's army were counted according, according to their families. The total number was 603,550. The families of the tribe of Levi, however, were not counted along with the others. The Lord had said to Moses, You must not count the tribe of Levi or include them in the census of the other Israelites. Instead, appoint the Levites to be in charge of the tabernacle of the testimony, over all its furnishings and everything belonging to it. They are to carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings. They are to take care of it and encamp around it. Whenever the tabernacle is to move, the Levites are to take it down, and whenever the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall do it. Anyone else who goes near it shall be put to death. The Israelites are to set up their tents by division, each man according to his camp under his own standard. The Levites, however, are to set up their tents around the tabernacle of testimony, so that the wrath will not fall on the Israelite community. The Levites are to be responsible for the care of the tabernacle of the testimony. The Israelites did all this just as the Lord commanded Moses. Chapter 2 the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, The Israelites are to camp around the tent of meeting, some distance from it, each man under his standard with the banners of his family. On the east, towards the sunrise, the divisions of the camp of Judah are to encamp under their standard. The leader of the people of Judah is Nashon, son of Amminadab. His division numbers 74,600. The tribe of Issachar will camp next to them. The leader of the people of Issachar is Nethaniel, son of Zuar. His division numbers 54,400. The tribe of Zebulun will be next. The leader of the people of Zebulun is Eliab, son of Halon. His division numbers 57,400. All the men assigned to the camp of Judah, according to their divisions, number 186,400. They will set out first. On the south um, on the south of, will be the divisions of the camp of Reuben, under their standard. The leader of the people of Reuben is Elizer, son of Shiridur. His division numbers 46,500. The tribe of Simeon will camp next to them. The leader of the people of Simeon is Shalumiel, son of Zereshaddai. His division numbers 59,300. The tribe of Gad will be next. The leader of the people of Gad is Eliasaph, son of Duel. His division numbers 46,650. All the men assigned to the camp of Reuben, according to their divisions, number 151,450. They will set out second. Then, the tent of meeting, the camp of the Levites, will set out in the middle of the camps. They will set out in the same order as they encamp, each in his own place under his standard. On the west will be the divisions of the camp of Ephraim under their standard. The leader of the people of Ephraim is Elishama, son of Amihud. His division numbers 40,500. 40, uh, the tribe of Manasseh will be next to them. The leader of the people of Manasseh is Gamaliel, the son of Pedazahur. His division numbers 32,200. The tribe of Benjamin will be next. The leader of the people of Benjamin is Abidan, son of Gideonai. His division numbers 35,400. All the men assigned to the camp of Ephraim, according to their divisions, number 108,000. 108,100. They will set out third. On the north, there will be the divisions of the camp of Dan under their standard. The leader of the people of Dan is Ahizer, son of Amishadai. Or his division numbers 62,700. The tribe of Asher will camp next to them. The leader of the people of Asher is Pagil, son of Akron. His division numbers 41,500. The tribe of Naphtali will be next. The leader of the people of Naphtali is Ahira, son of Anan. His division numbers 53,400. All the men assigned to the camp of Dan number 157,600. 
they will set out last under their standards. These are the Israelites counted according to their families. All those in the camps, by their divisions, number 603,550. The Levites, however, were not counted along with the other Israelites as the Lord commanded Moses. So the Israelites did everything the Lord commanded Moses. That is the way they encamped under their standards. And that is the way they set out, each with his uh, each with his clan and family. I just think it's cool. I mean, it, it's so tempting to look at this and just breeze through it. But we see all of these families and all of these tribes that God has selected to do his purpose. And all of these are part of that promise that he has already made um, to his people. And so it's cool seeing this um, this lineage that God has allowed to happen and kept safe and allowed to prosper and um, and that will continue as well. But it is interesting seeing all the numbers and just how many people are we talking? Well, we get a really good picture of at least the beginnings of that. Very, very cool. Um, but that that got me thinking and, and just obviously reminded me of how blessed I am today to think, good grief, God has, has blessed me so greatly, uh, even when I'm not perfect. I mean, God made these incredible promises to Abraham and absolutely blessed Abraham greatly. And I am nowhere near as faithful as Abraham. And yet I can look at what God has given um, and and be flabbergasted, <laughs> if people still say that, uh, at, at all that he has given. And it is just, it's so important to remember and be thankful for how incredibly blessed we are um, when we are faithful to the Lord. And even when we're not perfect, because he is good. It says infinitely more about his goodness uh, than our worthiness. Worth praying about. God, as always, we thank you for your word that we can delve in and see that your promises to your people are good, that you are faithful even when your people stumble, Lord. Help us to remember and be so mindful of all that you have given us, God. Your your promises are are absolutely good and and even when they are unmerited, Lord, because of your character, um, you see them through because you are so righteous and holy and good, and that is your nature. We thank you so much for it, Lord. We thank you for the promise that we have through your son, uh, the redemption of our lives because he died for us. God, we thank you so, so much for it and so much for his life and death and resurrection, Lord. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. That is about all I have for you today. For anyone watching, no, I appreciate you, wife. Appreciate you tons. And I will plan on seeing you tomorrow. Have a good one.